Michael, one of the things that you've discovered, as far as I can see in 37, is that the timing of any cessation of a decline of aging uh, depends on the environments in which the cohorts are raised and live as adults. Can you explain that a bit in terms that I and the listener would understand a bit better? Well, the seemingly nondescript thesis 37 is actually the aha moment which has led to the uh, promulgation of these 55 theses. Uh, In 37, I talk about basically the insight that I had on the order of two years ago that it wasn't just evolution that could change the point in time at which aging stops. It could also be environmental change. And actually the case that motivated this insight was my thinking about human evolution, which we'll get to later. But having had the idea about human evolution, I then spent more than a year thinking about how I might better test this idea in my laboratory. And I persuaded one of my graduate students, Marta Santosh, to do experiments that would test whether or not we could change the environments of our fruit flies in our lab and produce large-scale changes in uh, the timing of the cessation of their aging? And the answer is yes, experimentally. So what two, two years ago was an aha insight is now an experimental result. It's data we're going to be submitting for publication in the next month or two. Wow. So again, a bit if we were thinking about the th- Einstein and special relativity and the, and the bomb later on, you have a good uh, historical precedent for this. I wonder if you could remind us again of what... So taking a theory into something practical. Right. So so it's a general implication of E equals MC squared that you could release a huge amount of energy in a short period of time if you could convert a relatively small amount of mass into energy. It then took approximately 30 years until the moment which took place in London in Bloomsbury Square, when Leo Szilard, the true father of the atomic bomb, not Oppenheimer, had the idea for how you could practically build an atomic bomb that would work. And this was the key idea which then led to the Manhattan Project, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and the post-war world we've known ever since. Now, my idea is nothing like as momentous for the geopolitics of our time as Leo Szilard's idea. I'm not suggesting that for a moment. But what I am instead suggesting is this might be a transformative idea for the health of people in their middle age and older. 